Welcome at the E2E paint shop. It's time for another helmet painting video. Yeah, check this out. That's what I did for the helmet, my design and my drawing. A bald eagle design painted only with pencils. And that's exactly what I like to do on the helmet as well, using only pencils for the design. And I have absolutely no clue how long this will take, but I guess if I grew my beard, it will tickle my balls before this helmet design is done. <laughs> but before we can start, we have to disassemble the helmet. And in this case, I'm a lucky guy because the owner of the helmet is not a stingy jerk. He knows how to spend money and he bought a high quality helmet, A3 tri -lead designs. So I'm able to dismount the shield. I can dismount also the straps and the mips inside the helmet and that is if you like to do custom painting, there's nothing in the way I can do an easy masking. So perfect. Thank you for that. And let's start with the dismount, the preparation. I like to paint the helmet white before I start with the pencils. And then I like to show you how to do the pencil design. The prep work is the most important step when it comes to custom painting and what I have to do is I have to remove all the decals on the shield and the helmet, all which is yellow. These are screen printed decals and if I don't remove them I have a high risk of bubbling. The primers and colors won't stick so I have to remove them and if you don't do good preparation your complete custom paint job will be a piece of poop and to avoid that you have to be very careful and accurate and that's exactly what I do on the helmet and to do that I'm using an orbital sander and iridium discs, 180 grit, the 180 grit. So if you want to buy it yourself, I'll link you some in the video description. Let's start. Now comes the next step, which is also very important. I have to mask the helmet. I have to mask all these ventilation holes and the styrofoam shell of the helmet because if color hits styrofoam it will bubble and the helmet is ruined and that's safety gear so be careful when working with these helmets and now you should listen careful as well because you can't use normal masking tape like this what you have to use is a special masking tape this golden one if you use the normal masking tape and you rip off the masking tape from the styrofoam you will ruin the styrofoam and to avoid that you have to use the golden stuff I will link it also underneath the video in the description so you can order it yourself if you want to paint helmets that's all let's do it and let's do the masking the masking is done now let's paint One step forward, the helmet is sanded and prepared for the design, but the next step is tricky. I have to copy my pencil sketch on the helmet and guess what? I did it on the right side, but let me show you the trick. To copy my design on the helmet, I'm using a translucent piece of paper like this. I printed the eagle on the paper and what I have to do now is I have to trace all the outlines of the eagle using a pencil on the back side of the paper like so. And when I've traced all these outlines, I can place the paper on the helmet, pencil side facing the helmet, like so. And now I have to trace all these outlines again. And what's left is the eagle on the helmet. And that's the trick.
Yeah, the graphics are done, but it's not only pencil work. I also use the airbrushes to create some clouds and atmosphere around the mountain scene to give my graphic a 3D effect. That's what I like. Last step is the clear coat, but I can't use the clear coat direct on the graphics on the pencil work. What I have to use at first is a clear intercoat on the pencil work and on top a two component high solid clear coat to give the helmet a finish, which makes it usable. That's what I have to do in the paint booth and we are done. Mm -hmm.